name is uh, Pat Lee. I've been drawing comic books most of my life for almost 20 years. Uh, my background is uh, from Toronto, Canada, and essentially I have been illustrating and doing concept design and comic book illustration for quite some time as a professional career. It's pretty exciting to uh, talk about how um, the creation of a concept design or a character in a story or in a comic book or in a video game yeah, gets made. And some of the work I've, I've done in the past is uh, Transformers, G.I. Joe, X-Men, Iron Man, Superman, Batman, Cyber Force, um, and I've worked with many different studios and different companies. One of the highlighted stuff I've worked on was uh, Iron Man and Spider-Man. My inspiration really comes from just absorbing things and um, one of the aspects of how I start creating and developing or even before I put pencil to paper is really about uh, trying to understand what what it is I'm creating and trying to um, absorb what interests me in terms of my character and the design that I'm doing. So um, a lot of the research is done first before I actually delve into the uh, illustration. Primarily what, what I usually focus on is if it's a character, you know, where does this character come from? What is a person's personality? Uh, once the idea is established and we have a good strong foundation of all the different aspects of the character that we try to fine-tune that and what I personally do is I try to look at the um, the skill set or you know the, the, the character's capabilities and especially if I'm creating like for instance a samurai or a ninja or something before you actually delve into this the sketching phase and I'm, I'm usually when I think I think very loosely I, I don't think too much of detail, I think more general in terms of shape, size, age, you know, the background of the character and, and, and why I'm actually creating this character. Um, so in essence, if it's a futuristic ninja or, uh, or an assassin, then we want to uh, really concentrate on his build. Uh, usually an assassin would, you know, is thin built but extremely tight in, in, in his uh, uh, muscle structure. I would make his forearms really big just because he's always like swinging that sword or whatever. Uh, very, and also he's very agile so he's got to be extremely fast. So his legs got to be really um, pretty thin and muscular. And usually we, I usually try to draw my characters as good looking as possible because <laughs> usually that's what people um, like. Um, I tend to look on the more of the commercial side. When I start sketching a character, it's, it's, it's essentially I, some. I start off with a scrap piece of paper. I usually work on 11 by 17 board or 11 by 17 illustration. The wider the better for me um, just because I'm constantly just etching and drawing and putting all my notes down on, on paper and I'm, I'm spreading that through, through the 11 by 17. I'll work with very typical pencil, mechanical pencil or um, a blue pencil. Once I fine tune it and I have uh, the essential layout done, then I'll go in there with a long brush and just grayscale it out so I can get shape. Because I think shape is very important to um, the, the entire tone of the character, the entire, the entire feel. So a brush is really good to use for something like that. And if I've gotten the character to a point where I, I like it, um, we'll just use Photoshop or something or, you know, um, Painter. And we'll start really bringing out the colors and trying to use the digital medium to overlap on top of the marker rendering to give it kind of a unique look and to fill in all the details and gaps. So I'm just going to uh, throw a plug in here on, my, on a new book that we put out called the Extraterrestrial Compendium book. And essentially uh, the book is out now on uh, Barnes and Noble's iBook and um, Amazon.com um, and it's a it was a really fun book because there's a lot of conceptual design that was put into this based on aliens that who knows exists but it's based on a lot of research so it's a, it was a really exciting you know book to to work on some of the the images were were very intriguing and a lot of the the aliens were very detailed like for instance the zeta gray reticuli uh, which come from the star system of Orion um, 
this was a, a very extremely famous character and we were just really fascinated by you know what's beyond our our planet and um, and what's out there in the universe and it's uh, you know information that's out there and and uh, thought we'd compile a little book on it.